Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the black cherry cowl, which you can see here in front of you. This cowl features a lot of texture. It's super soft and squishy uh, as I've worked it in the Scarfy yarn by Lion Brand. This is a bulky weight yarn. Each it's a wool blend, acrylic and wool. Each ball has approximately 312 yards. And for this project, you're going to need about three quarters of the ball. So uh, about 220 or so yards of this bulky weight yarn. You're also going to need a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and then a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. This is the sixth pattern in the midwinter crochet along. It's the third pattern in the black cherry set. So here on my channel, you can find a matching beanie and ear warmer pattern uh, for this cowl. The free written instructions are on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and there's direct links to all of these things in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. Uh, there's many other patterns and stitch tutorials here for you to enjoy. Now our pattern today is worked in rounds. So we're going to start by working our slip knot. The size we're working today is size to fit an adult with a little bit of drape around the neck. Uh, so we're going to start by working a foundation chain of 92. If you would like to change the size of your cowl, you will simply need to chain a multiple of four for your foundation chain. But today we're going to chain 92. Once you have worked your foundation chain, being careful not to twist that chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Now I'm going to join and work into these back bumps of my foundation chain. It's completely personal preference. You're then ready to begin round one. For round one, you're going to chain one and half double crochet into that first stitch. And then half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Once you have your half double crochet stitches worked all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. For rounds two, three, and four, we're going to work half double crochet stitches in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. So to find our third loop, right now we're looking at the front of our stitches. Toward the back here, you will see you have your top loops here, and then just below it, you see another loop that kind of runs parallel to it. And this yarn is quite fuzzy and maybe a little dark so it's hard to see but if you look at your stitches you'll see this loop that runs parallel under your back loop. That's your third loop. So you're going to work a half double crochet stitch into that third loop of each stitch all the way around. And what's going to happen is it's going to push the tops of your stitches forward and it's going to give you this ridge of texture uh, all the way around. So for three rounds, half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around, join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch 
chain one and then work your next uh, round of half double crochets. There is no turning, so you're always working in the same direction. Work rounds two, three, and four, and then meet me back here. Once you've worked to the end of round four, you'll have a band that looks like this. You're going to chain one and turn your work. So you're now working with uh, the wrong side of your work facing. For round five, we're going to single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Next, work one bobble stitch into your next stitch. To work your bobble stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that in the same stitch four more times. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. That was once, twice, three, and four. You'll want to have a total of six loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all six loops. You're then going to repeat single crochet into the next three stitches, and then bobble stitch into your next stitch. Single crochet into each of the next three stitches. So continue that all the way around. You're going to finish off this round with a bobble stitch in your final stitch and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. When you're working, I'll just say before I move on, uh, your bobble stitches are going to be want uh, going to want to be popping out on the right side of your fabric. At the end of round five, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. You should ha now have your bobble stitches facing you. We're ready to begin round six with the right side facing us. You're going to half double crochet in each stitch and each bobble stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of round six, you're joining with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Do not turn your work. You're now going to work two more rounds of half double crochet stitches into your third stitch. So half double crochet in the third stitch of each stitch all the way around. Join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. Do not chain your work and chain one. You're going to work two of these rounds, so this is for rounds seven and eight. At the end of round eight, your work from the beginning is going to look like this. And from here on end, you're going to repeat the rounds that you just worked beginning at round five. So beginning at round five, which was your bobble stitch rounds through to round eight, you're going to repeat that four more times. So you're going to have a total of five rounds of these bobble stitches and then your cowl's almost complete. So go ahead, work, uh, repeat rounds five through to eight four more times and then meet me back here. 
Once you have worked your rounds five through eight four more times, this is what your pattern will look like. I'll pull back just a little bit. So you have five rounds of your bobble stitches. You finished off with two rounds of half double crochet in the third loop. And to finish off your cowl, it's oh so easy. You're simply going to work one more round of half double crochet stitches into the third loop. And this is going to uh, even off the top and the bottom textures. Once you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, fasten off, weave in any ends, and your black cherry cowl is complete. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.